our preferred method for sampling is a beak cloth sampling. So we'd go into crop. First of all, we do a visual just to assess what stage the crop is. Because that's very important, vegetative flowering or podding, late pod fill. Uh, you'd be looking cursorily for any, to see if there's any leaf damage, percent defoliation, so that's visual. But to actually find out how many insects are in your crop, you've got to use something to dislodge them from the crop, because when we walk in, we might at best see only 10% of what's there. Um, so we use a beak cloth. So at each side of it, so one side you'll have a bit of dowel, and that's the side that butts in against the crop, and the other side there'll be a bit of dowel, and that's to hold it when it goes over the adjacent rate, then you hop round and uh, you shake that with a one metre bit of stick, the central metre, shake it very vigorously at least five or six times. Um, and you're just lodging all the insects on that onto the sheet. Now, because that sheet is draped up over the adjacent plants, all those insects are going to be caught there. They don't get flung into the adjacent row. Little trick, some insects are very flighty, like monolaptor beetles and ladybirds, so you'd count those first before they fly off. Also some of the bugs, the brown bean bugs, are very flighty, so you count them before they fly away, because it's very difficult to count something that's flying away. And then you'd start on the more sedentary things like your caterpillars. If you're like me and you need reading glasses, you'll need glasses when you go to the paddock. Also help to uh, just familiarise yourself with the size of the larva, just measure a few at the, so you get your eye in. So you record the size, not only what's there, but how big they are, because that's important. And the number of shakes we need to take, number of samples, is frequently a contentious question. And the problem is that the insects aren't uniformly distributed in a crop. They're clumped, they're often patchy, so you might get 40 veggie bug nymphs at one spot and nothing in the next 20 shakes. So you need to take quite a few samples. So at any one spot, to get an accurate estimate, you probably need five shakes. If you're strapped for time, you could cut that back to four, but no fewer than four. Otherwise, you don't get an accurate assessment in that one spot. Other thing is, in a crop, uh, you can have a lot of variability from one end to the other, so we probably need to sample, say, in a four hectare block of soy, even one that small, you need to sample probably four, at least four to five sites in that block because you may have nothing at one edge, lulls you into false insecurity. Down the other end of the paddock, there may be zillions, so even in that small area. so. I know it's a pain, but for peace of mind, particularly against very damaging pests like bugs, you do need to take that, that number of samples.